Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. A Canadian study published in this week's edition of the prestigious scientific journal Nature has raised serious concerns. It indicates that the oil sands are a major source of secondary organic aerosols, or SOAs. Production rates of some 45 to 84 tons per day make the oil sands one of the largest anthropogenic sources of SOAs in North America. To the Environment Minister, what current methods are being used to measure and monitor the levels of SOAs in Alberta? Honourable Minister of the Environment. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Honourable Member for the question. Uh, uh, indeed, Alberta Environment uh, officials worked with the, the committee that published this study uh, because we thought the findings would be valuable to how our province approaches air monitoring. Uh, the findings from this study will help us better understand potential health, environmental and health impacts of the oil sands. We're currently reviewing the report. Thank you. Mental. Given that the Environment Minister has previously told this Assembly, as well as members of the AAMDNC, that beyond carbon dioxide, all coal plant emissions, including NOx, SOx, and particulate matter, must be considered, and given that these emissions were given as one of the reasons for the accelerated phase-out of coal-fired generation to the Minister, applying the same criteria, if SOAs from the oil sands are determined to be similarly deleterious to the environment, will you shut down the oil sands like you are shutting down coal? Good. Well, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, and of course, uh, uh, our energy industry continues to, to power the uh, Alberta economy, and we know that uh, industry wants to work with us to ensure that those uh, resources are developed as uh, responsibly as possible, Mr. Yeah. Speaker, and that is why uh, this government, for example, is moving forward with the Joint Oil Sands uh, Monitoring ag uh, Agreement uh, with the federal government, and uh, it is why, Mr. Speaker, we uh, uh, passed new legislation just this morning uh, to ensure that we have uh, the most robust uh, monitoring and we have the most resources going to where they ought to go, Mr. Speaker. Second supplemental. It appears that there's a double standard here. Given that the Environment Minister was recently given an award for promoting the health of Albertans, and I congratulate her for that, through the phase out of coal, and given that long-term exposure to SOAs can also result in significant health risks not unlike those attributed to coal, to the Health Minister, you have said that the phase out of coal was done in the interest of the respiratory health of Albertans. Does it fit with the NDP worldview to use the same rationale <laughs> to eliminate oil sands production? Oh. Minister of Health. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the question. Uh, certainly, we are very uh, proud of the fact that we have a climate leadership strategy. Our uh, intentions are mapped out in that climate leadership strategy. So, as you'll see, uh, we uh, had support from oil sands producers. They stood on a stage with us. They believe that our vision for moving forward with a, a responsible climate leadership strategy is going to be good for, for Alberta, good for their companies, and that means it's going to be good for the oil sands, Mr. Speaker.